Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jenny Love and today we're actually going to do a wandering video and guys Trust me when I tell you that it has been eons since I have done a wandering video I mean, I think the last video I did were wandering video. I should say um, I want to say it was in like October like the end of October maybe the beginning of November or something like that so it's been a few solid months since I have gotten a wandering video in guys and you know to be honest with you I didn't really have it planned to do a wandering video today until I stumbled across this destination um, that was advertised in the banner of the marketplace um, I was in marketplace looking for something and I noticed it up at the top and I clicked on it to check it out and I was just like oh my god this place is absolutely stunning I have to do a video on this place so why not bring the wandering videos back and I promised a few of you that I would do wandering videos again soon I know that some of you have been like wondering what the hell's been going on as far as that goes so um, yeah I'm, I'm gonna start doing them more often again guys I know how much you enjoy them as far as seeing the different destinations in Second Life and what Second Life has to offer and all that good stuff so uh, don't mind the people rezzing in behind me if we see anybody naked we'll just kind of flip our camera really fast <laughs> Uh, but anyway, guys, so I am at a new place in Second Life. Um, I, I believe it was just newly built for Valentine's Day specifically. So don't go away. I'm going to show you guys where we are and we're going to walk around and do a little bit of exploring. Right, guys welcome back and so the name of the place that we're at today is called Isle of View um, it's actually really really nice um, for Valentine's Day obviously Valentine's Day is in two days oh my gosh two days I feel like we just got done with Christmas y'all seriously this is just insane the way time is just flying right by um, but anyway so yeah Isle, Isle of View is where we are at and again I'm not really sure if this place is always going to be around I don't know if they're going to take it down after Valentine's Day I don't know if they just built it specifically for Valentine's Day um, I'm really not sure of the logistics on this place as again I had just stumbled upon it so um, the description on it reads looking for something romantic the Isle of View brings together everything the discerning romantic looks for in romantic festivities. Boat rides, fireworks, kissing booths, forest walks, and more. So bring that special someone to the Isle of View and tell them how you really feel. Um, so, I mean, definitely, you know, it's it's like a date area, I guess. <laughs> I don't really know, um, but I found there's like this little map here, and it looks like they have them like scattered... Maybe they have them scattered around. I don't know. There's like little heart poles all over the place. So I don't know if this is the only map, but it shows you um, what they got going on. So obviously we are here where the red dot is and it says the love pavilion. That's actually where you teleport in. Um, and then you have all this like forest around it, which is really pretty. They have all of these Japanese maples and cherry trees and all that. Um, and then down here we have like a love maze. Um, oh, a swan ride. Okay, so you have a swan ride that goes around the love maze, and then you have the love maze itself. That is so cute. Okay. And then over here we have another love pavilion. I'm assuming it's the same as this one since they look very familiar. Um, or very similar, I should say. Familiar. I'm just, I'm still chugging coffee, y'all. Um, and then of course over here we have another swan ride that takes you around a romantic park okay and then all of these roads obviously that lead to each so I'm not really sure if I'm gonna cover every single aspect of this place all in this video because I don't really want to spoil too much of what's going on here for those of you who do um, want to bring you know your significant other your partner your husband your wife whatever um, here and explore I always find that it's better to explore places when you don't know what to expect. Um, you know, a lot of times if I watch a video on a specific place, I'm like, oh wow, that looks really cool. I got to go there. But then I'm like, okay, I feel like I was just there. 
<laughs> because I watched somebody else go through, which is why a lot of times, guys, when I do wandering videos, I never ever cover the entire place. I only do little sections here and there so that it kind of gives you a taste or a feel of what the place is about without spoiling the whole thing so that you can come here and enjoy it and be surprised yourself. Um, I know a lot of other YouTubers do that too. Um, I know that there's a few others that do, you know, like destination videos, wandering videos, um, and stuff like that. And, and they also, you know, cover just certain sections or they'll just walk around a little bit of it and stuff like that, which is, which is good because again, you don't want to make the person already feel like they were there when they didn't even go there. So again, we have all of this space that we can cover, but I'm not going to cover all of it. Um, but I would love to go on a swan ride with you guys. So I'm definitely going to hit up one of the swan rides and maybe we'll see if we can challenge that love maze. Uh, let's see if we can get through that. And then, uh, you know, I'll, I'll wrap it up after that. The rest I'll let you guys explore, especially the romantic park. I mean, because that's, that's just probably the best place here. I'm assuming, I'm assuming. Um, so yeah, I'll let you experience that together without me being the third wheel. So... <laughs> All right, so let's head over um, and let's find this swan ride, guys. All right, so if I know how to read maps correctly, um, I'm assuming that the swan ride is down here. So let's see. Uh, okay, so there's another map. Um, I think, yeah, I think I have to go up here. I think I have to come up around this bridge. Oh, I see it, I see it. I see the swan ride, y'all. Okay, so coming around here, I love the lattice work that they got going on. I just, I love the greenery. I love all of this. This is so beautiful. So I'm assuming that this is the swan ride. Yes, swan ride. Are these cannons? These are cannons, why would, okay. Okay. These are cannons, guys. There's like cannons all around here. So they want to get you on this swan ride so that they can <laughs> shoot your ass with cannons. Because <laughs> they're everywhere. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh, maybe they shoot like confetti or something. Like, they're not. You can't click it or anything. And they're not going off. So like, I have no idea what is going on with these cannons. That is really weird to me. This boat pulled right up for us and it just disappeared. What the hell? How do you get on a boat? How do you get on a boat? There's nothing to click to like res a boat. Well, what the hell? Oh wait, here comes another boat. Here comes another one. I think it's... Am I on the wrong side? <laughs> oh my gosh. I think you're supposed to get on over here. Like this is the, yes, this is the entrance. Oh Jesus. Okay. Okay. So you know what? Instead of walking all the way around because I'm too lazy to do that today, I'm actually just going to click. There we go. Okay. Okay. And I'm a female, so we're gonna sit like a female. Okay, we already are. So let's put this in mouse look view. This is kind of nice. Oh, oh, did you guys see that? Okay, it's like heart confetti that comes out of those cannons. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. This is neat. I don't know if there's any sound. Let me, let me turn on the sound. I don't hear any music. You can't, you can't toggle, so there's no music. Um, hmm. Let me put my headset on and see if we have music. Mm, no music, but there is water sounds and stuff. There's another cannon. Oh, that is so adorable. That is so cute. And here comes another cannon. They like go off when you pass by them. That is so cute. Okay. And I'm drifting off out into the open ocean. <laughs> what? Okay, are they bringing me around? That's kind of creepy. Like, y'all gotta admit, that's kind of creepy. Like, you're going down, like, a nice little waterway path, you know. Like, on a romantic, like, 
I don't know, love ride, I guess, and then all of a sudden you're out, <laughs> like in the open ocean on your swan boat. That's a little creepy. That is a little creepy. Okay, and then there's another swan boat up here, and I can't tell. Yeah, it's moving. Okay, it's definitely moving. I mean, this is super duper cute, guys. This is absolutely adorable. The only thing I think I don't really like about it is the fact that um, the seats are kind of far apart. You can't really sit like together. You can't cuddle or anything like that. I mean, these seats are kind of far apart. So you're just kind of chilling with each other. But I mean, it's still really, really nice. It's still really nice. Okay, now we're coming back into... Um, no more open ocean. We're coming back into a waterway here. These cannons are so adorable. At first, I thought I was going to be killed. But I'm just getting showered. I heard some confetti. Okay, so coming back under one of these steep-ass bridges. Okay, this is adorable. I love the trees and stuff that they used here. And you know what? As a matter of fact, I think I own these trees. I think. I have to check. They look very familiar to me. Um, oh, this is the end already? Oh, that's kind of short. That was kind of short. I mean, it was very nice, don't get me wrong. But it was kind of short. Is this the maze? Because if this is the maze, I'm going to be a little disappointed because this isn't really a maze. Because I don't... Guys, this is the maze. Aww. I was looking forward to, like, a maze. You know, like, getting lost and starving to death and dying in a corner somewhere, you know? Like that kind of maze because you can't find your way out. But this is just... I don't know. Don't get me wrong. It is gorgeous. Very, very nicely built. Very beautiful. Um, the landscape is stunning. Very stunning. Whoever built the landscape, props to you. It is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, look at the bird bath. Um, but this ain't no maze, guys. This is not a maze. Um, and, and the stones on the ground are not phantom, so you kind of hop when you walk. <laughs> Which, hey, that's okay. I'm a little disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. I really thought this was gonna be like a challenging maze. Um, the fountain is very pretty. I really, really like this fountain and I need to find out where I can get this fountain for obvious reasons. <laughs> um, I really, really like that fountain. But um, yeah, you have like little tables and chairs, little sitting areas and stuff like that. Um, but again, it's not really a maze, it's just something that you can kind of walk through together, like a little garden. Um, and again, they have like bird baths and butterflies and a lot of cute things going on here, guys. Again, this place is absolutely adorable and it is truly a romantic area to bring your significant other, especially guys, um, men mostly, and women. Women also do this, but mostly men. Um, if you plan to propose on Valentine's Day or around Valentine's Day this year and you want to make an honest man or an honest woman out of your partner and <laughs> you want to propose to him, this place, I I have not seen any animations or anything around for proposals. I'm sure that maybe in the garden there probably is or might be. It would be kind of dumb if there wasn't, if I'm being completely honest, um, especially in a place like this, but this would be the absolute perfect place to come and propose to your partner, guys, so definitely keep this in mind for that. Um, like maybe while you're on the swan ride, if there's no animations, you don't really have to get down on one knee. I mean, hello, it's it's tradition, it's classic, it's, it's what you do, but if you don't want to get down on one knee, you can always just, you know, get on the boat ride and and do it there, you know, or something like that, or while you're walking through the garden together, you know, there's there's many different types of ways that you can propose to your partner, guys, so this would be a really, really nice place to do so. Um, I don't know, I think I'm going, yeah, I'm not going back to where I was, so I'm actually just going to stop right here, um, 
and let you guys explore the rest by yourself while I stand on this steep ass bridge. <laughs> So yeah, again guys, the name of this place is Isle of View, and I will put the landmark URL in the description below for you guys so that you can click it to come here. And if you like this video or any of my other videos, please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel and click the little bell icon that is next to the subscribe button so that you're actually notified every time I upload a new video. And again guys, I will start uploading more wandering videos more often. Um, I can't guarantee what days and things like that since my schedule is kind of a swinger. It's like all over the place, but I will definitely get more of those out for you guys. And of course, the catalog versions of the Bean Linden Friday. Um, but yeah, again, guys, come check this place out. You know, today, tomorrow, on Valentine's Day, I don't know how long it's going to be open for, so... Just to be on the safe side, if you want to check it out, I would do it as soon as possible. So yeah, again guys, thank you so much for coming with me. Thank you so much for supporting me. I love you all, and I will see you next time. And remember, keep calm and love Jenny Love. See you guys later.